Dear learners, welcome myself Dr. Rajiv Prasad and today we will learn about periodic classification of elements. Dear learners, after studying this lesson you will be able to understand about development of classification of elements, main features of Mendeleev's periodic table, the defects of Mendeleev's periodic table, modern periodic law, the features of long form of periodic table, modern periodic classification and the trends in variation of atomic size and metallic character in the periodic table. The elements with similar electronic configuration show similar chemical properties. By the middle of the 19th century, quite a large number of elements nearly 60 were known. In order to study these elements systematically, it was considered necessary to classify them. In this lesson, you will undertake the journey through the development of classification of element from ancient to modern. You will also study how some properties of elements vary in the modern periodic table. Need for classification of elements. The number of compounds formed by them was also enormous. With the increasing number of elements, it was becoming more and more difficult to study their properties individually. Therefore, the need of their classification was felt. This led to the classification of various elements into groups which helped in the systematic study of elements. Development of classification. Scientists were in search of such characteristics of an element which would never change. After the work of William Proust in 1815, it was found that the atomic mass of an element remained constant. So, it could form the basis of satisfactory classification. The four major attempts made for classification of elements, they are as follows. Dominostrides, Newland's law of octave, Mendeleev's periodic law and periodic table and modern periodic table. Daubonier's strides. In 1829, J. W. Daubonier, a German chemist, made group of three elements and called them trides. All three elements in a triad were similar in their physical and chemical properties. He proposed a law known as Daubonier's law of triads. According to this law, when elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic masses, the atomic mass of the middle element was nearly equal to the arithmetic mean of the other two and its properties were intermediate between these of the other two elements. This table shows the different triads formed by the Daveniers, uh, which includes the group of three elements and uh, it is also indicated here that the atomic mass of the middle element is arithmetic mean of other two elements. Newland's law of octave, this was the second attempt to classify the element. In 1864, an English chemist John Alexander Newland arranged the elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses then called atomic weight at that time. He observed that every eighth element had properties similar to the first element as in the musical tones octaves. The merits of Newland's law of octave classification are atomic mass was made the basis of classification, periodicity of properties, the repetition of properties after a certain interval was recognized for the first time. The Demerits of Newland's law of octave are, it was not applicable to elements of atomic number higher than 40. Hence, all the 60 elements known at that time could not be classified according to this criterion. With the discovery of normal gases, it was found that it was the ninth element which had the properties similar to the first one and not the eighth element. This resulted in rejection of very idea of octaves. Dimitri Mendeleev's also 
spelled as Mendeleev's or Mendeleev, a Russian chemist studied the properties of all the 63 elements known at that time and their compounds. On arranging the elements in the increasing order of atomic masses, he observed that the elements with the similar properties occur periodically. In 1869, he stated this observation in the form of following statement which is known as Mendeleev's periodic law. The chemical and physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. The periodic function is the one which repeat itself after a certain intervals. Mendeleev's arrange the elements in the form of a table which is known as Mendeleev's periodic table. This is the initial periodic table given by the Mendeleev. The main features of Mendeleev's periodic table. Following are the main features of this periodic table. The elements are arranged in row and column in the periodic table. This was the first time when a chemist tried to uh, arrange the elements in the form of row and columns. The horizontal rows are called periods. There are 6 periods in the periodic table. They are numbered from 1 to 6 Arabic numerals. Each one of the 4th, 5th and 6th periods have two series of elements. Properties of elements in a given period shows regular gradation that is increase or decrease from left to right. The vertical columns present in it are called groups. There are 8 groups numbered from 1 to 8 Roman numerals. Group 1 to 7 are further divided into A and B subgroups. However, group 8 contain 3 elements in each of the 3 periods. All the elements present in a particular group are chemically similar in nature. They also show a regular gradation in their physical and chemical properties from top to bottom. Classification of elements. Mendeleev's classification include all the 63 elements known at that time on the basis of this atomic masses and facilitated systematic study of elements. Correction of atomic masses. Atomic masses of some elements like beryllium, gold, in indium were corrected on their position. Third, prediction of new elements. This table indicates the different elements he predicted that uh, could be the new elements which represents the prediction of different elements by the Mendeleev's. Valency of elements. Mendeleev's classification helped in understanding the valency of elements. The valency of elements is given by the group number. For example, all the elements in group 1 that is helium, hydrogen, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium have valency 1. Mendeleev's periodic table was a great success yet it had following defects. First is position of hydrogen. The position of hydrogen which is placed in group 1A along with alkali metals is ambiguous as it resembles alkali metals as well as halogen group that is 7A. Second, position of isotopes. Example, two isotopes of carbon are placed as C12-6 and C14-6 but placed at the same position. Third, anomalous pair of elements. For example, cobalt with higher atomic mass that is 58.9 was placed before nickel with, with lower atomic mass that is 58.7. Grouping of chemically dissimilar elements. Elements such as copper and silver have no resemblance with alkali metals, lithium, sodium etc. but have been grouped together in the first group. Separation of chemically similar elements. Elements which are chemically similar such as gold and platinum have been placed in separate groups. Now after the failure of Mendeleev's periodic table, the modern periodic law was assumed. In 1913, Henry Mosley, an English physicist, discovered that the atomic number and not the atomic mass of the most fundamental particle of an element. Atomic number of an element is the number of protons in the nucleus of its atom. According to modern periodic law, 
The modern periodic law states that the chemical and physical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic number that is if elements are arranged in the order of their increasing atomic number the elements with the similar properties are repeated after certain regular intervals. This is the table which shows the different elements and regular properties that in all these elements the valence electron are 1 that is the, that shows the periodicity in the properties. Dear learners, welcome myself Dr. Raji Prashad and today we will learn about periodic classification of elements. Now let us understand what is the cause of periodicity of elements. All these elements have one electron in the outermost cell and so they have similar properties which are as follows. They are good reducing agents they form monovalent cations, they are soft metals, they are very reactive and therefore found in nature in combined state. They impart color in the flame and the another similarity is that they form hydrides with the hydrogen. They form basic oxides with the oxygen, they react with water to form metal hydroxide and liberate hydrogen. Thus, the co-occurrence of similar electronic configuration is the cause of periodicity in properties of elements. This is the long form of periodic table which indicates all the elements and total number of 7 periods and 18 groups that is represented here. Now the groups, there are 18 vertical columns in the periodic table. Each vertical column is called group. The group have been numbered from 1 to 18 in Arabic numerals. Periods. There are 7 horizontal rows in the periodic table, each row is called a period. The elements in a period have consecutive atomic numbers. The periods have been numbered from 1 to 7 in the Arabic numerals. The first period is the shortest period of all, it contains only 2 elements that is the hydrogen and helium. The second and the third periods are called short periods containing 8 elements each. The fourth and the fifth periods are long periods containing 18 elements each and the sixth and the seventh period are very long periods containing 32 elements each. Main group elements. The elements present in the group 1 and 2 on the left side and group 13 to 17 on the right side of the periodic table are called representative elements or main group elements. Noble gases. Group 18 on the extreme right side of the periodic table contain noble gases. Transition elements. The middle block of periodic table group 3 to 12 contain transition elements. The two outermost cells are incomplete. Since these elements represent a transition that means a change from the most electropositive element to the most electronegative elements they are termed as transition elements. Inner transition elements. These elements also called rare earth elements are shown separately below the main periodic table. These are two series of 14 elements each. The first series called lanthanoids consisting of elements 58 to 71 that is cerium to lutetium. They all are placed along with the elements 57 lanthanum that is La in the same group 3 period 6 because of very close resemblance between them. Second series of 14 rare earth element is called actinides. It consists of elements 92, 103 that is thorium to laurentium and they are called all placed along with the elements 89 actinium that is AC in the same position group 3 period 7, but for convenience they are shown below the main periodic table. In all rare earth lanthanides and actinides, three outermost cells are incomplete. They are therefore called inner transition elements. It is interesting to note that the elements lanthanum 
is not a lanthanoid and the element actinium is not an actinoid. Metals, metals are placed in the left hand position of the periodic table. The strong metallic elements alkali metals like lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium and alkaline earth metals that is beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium occupy group 1 and 2 respectively. Nonmetals. Nonmetals occupy the right hand position of the periodic table. A strong nonmetallic elements that is halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, statine and the chalcogens that is oxygen, sulfur, selenium, terillium, polonium occupy group 17 and 16 respectively. The metalloids are the elements that shows mixed properties of both metals and nonmetals. They are present along the diagonal line starting from group 13 boron and going down to group 16 polonium. The following points overcomes the defects of Mendeleev's periodic table and that is why it was accepted by scientists across the world. The position of isotopes. All isotopes of an element have the same atomic number and therefore occupy the same position in the modern periodic table. Anomalous pair. The anomaly regarding all these pairs disappears when atomic number is taken as the basis of classification. Electronic configuration. This classification is according to the electronic configuration of elements that is the elements having a certain pattern of electronic configuration are placed in the same group and of this periodic table. Separation of metals and nonmetals. The position of metals, nonmetals and metalloids are clearly established in the modern periodic table. Position of transition metals. It makes the position of the transition elements quite clear. Properties of elements. It reflects the difference, the trends and the variation of the properties of the elements in the periodic table. In a given group, the number of filled cells increases, the number of valence electron in the same in all the elements of a given group. However, these valence electrons, but they are present in the higher cells which are farther away from the nucleus. In view of this decrease the force of attraction between the outermost cell and the nucleus as we move forward in a group. In a given period, the nuclear charge and the number of valence electron in a particular cell increases from left to right. This increases the force of attraction between the valence electron and the nucleus as we move across the period from left to right. Atomic size is the distance between the center of nucleus and the outermost cell of an isolated atom. It is also known as atomic radius and it is measured in picometer. Atomic size is a very important property of an atom because it relates to many other properties. Variation of atomic size in periodic table. The size of atom decreases from left to right in a periods but increases from top to bottom in a group. This uh, diagram, this table shows the variation of uh, atomic size from left to right and we can see here the size of an elements in a particular period decreases from left to right. Reason in a period the atomic number and therefore the positive charge of the nucleus increases gradually as a result the electrons are attracted more strongly and they come closer to the nucleus. This decreases the atomic size in a period from left to right. In a group as one goes down a new cell is added to the atom which is farther away from the nucleus. Hence, electrons move away from the nucleus. This increase the atomic size in a group from top to bottom. This table shows the regular increase of atomic size of elements in the first group from lithium to the first group contains all these elements lithium to cesium. So, we can see here that as we move from lithium to cesium atomic size increasing reason is there is a regular increase in number of cells. Variation of metallic character in a group. Metallic character increases from top to bottom 
in a group as tendency to lose electrons increases. This increase the electropositive character and metallic nature. The variation can hist can be seen in the group 14 given below. This is the table indicating the different elements and their metallic and non-metallic and metalloids character. Variation of metallic character in a periods. Metallic character decreases in a period from left to right. It is because the ionization energy increases in a period and this decreases the electropositive character and metallic nature. The variation of metallic character in the elements of third period is shown below. This is the representation of decrease in metallic character. This table indicates that the how atomic number, atomic size, metallic and non-metallic character increases or decreases in a groups or periods. Dear learners, uh, let us now recapitulate what we have learned in this chapter. The first classification of element was as metals and non-metals. After the discovery of atomic mass, old term atomic weight, it was thought to be the fundamental property of elements and attempts were made to correlate it to their other properties. John Dobnier grouped elements into triads. The atomic mass and the properties of middle elements were mean of the other two. He could group only a few elements into triads, for example, lithium, sodium and potassium, calcium, strontium, barium, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Newlands tried to see the periodicity of properties and stated his law as octave as whenever elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic weights every eighth element has properties similar to the first. He could arrange elements up to the calcium only out of more than 60 elements then known. Menlips observed the correlation between atomic weight and the other properties and stated his periodic law as the chemical and the physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic weight. Menlips gave the first periodic table which is named after him which uh, include all the known elements. It consists of seven horizontal rows called periods and the numbered them from 1 to 7. It has eight vertical columns called group and numbered them from 1 to 8. Main achievement of Mendeleev's periodic table were first inclusion of all the known elements and the second was prediction of new elements. The main defects of Mendeleev's periodic table were position of isotopes, anomalous pair of elements like argon, potassium and grouping of dissimilar elements and separation of similar elements. Mostly discovered that atomic number and that not atomic mass is the fundamental property of elements. In the light of this, the periodic law was modified to the chemical and physical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers. This is the modern periodic law. Modern periodic table is based upon atomic number. Its long form has been accepted by IUPAC. It has 7 periods 1 to 7 and 18 groups that is number from 1 to 18. It is free of main defects of Mendeleev's periodic table. Elements belonging to the same group have the same number of valence electrons and thus so same valency and similar chemical properties. Arrangement of elements in the periodic table shows periodicity, atomic radii, metallic character, increase in a group from top to bottom and in a period decrease from left to right. I hope you have or understand the main concepts related to periodic classification of elements. So learners start solving your assignments related to this chapter. So, good luck and best wishes.